Ethan Hunt was once called the living manifestation of destiny. But what happens when he actually faces off against the manifestation of destiny? The primary driving antagonist of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is an enforcer who likes to go by Gabriel. He uses the name because he believes himself the harbinger of a great and divine change. But in practice, he's a murderer who enjoys killing and pain and nothing else. But unlike other versions of the character, he derives satisfaction, not joy or glee, and is capable of restraining himself. The end result is Wolf of a Man, caring about no one or n and nothing, and seeking only his own fulfillment. And in combination with the film's true antagonist, a party that claims to be a perfect predictor of chaos and order, this relentless force becomes terrifying. Ethan Hunt can circumnavigate or trick or power through any number of obstacles, but how do you face an enemy that sometimes even refuses to do any of these, who chooses to wait or to do nothing because he's so confident that a future opportunity will present itself, even if he tells you that's what will happen? Well, Dead Reckoning is a cliffhanger in some ways. In many ways, it still aims to wrap up its main plot threads. But it seems we may not have seen the last of this character's effects, and it'll be interesting to see where he goes. And in the meantime, I find myself quite intimidated.